The Canadian housing market says they're able to handle a major real estate crisis. Brides aren't buying wedding dresses anymore, and you can now stream all of the Netflix shows you absolutely love on your phone and not worry about dad overages. Huh. This is the Ken Parkin Real Estate Podcast. Hi, and welcome to the Ken Parkin Real Estate Podcast, where we talk all things real estate, business related, and really anything happening in your life. If you've got a few minutes, we'd love to have you sit back, relax, and enjoy what we have to offer. Good Wednesday morning to you. It is November 21st, and it is cold out there today. Hope everybody's having a great day. Hope everybody's having a great week. Wanted to jump back on the podcast and have a little uh, update in terms of what is happening in the business world, the retail world, um, and give you a little bit of perspective uh, from what I'm digesting. And hopefully it helps you make a better decision in whatever decision making you're doing. Um, wanted to start with an article published on October 2nd. We're going back just over a month ago. And um, it has to do, it caught my eye for a couple of reasons, but it, it has to do with the um, the real estate market and where we are as Canadians and in terms of debt load. The Canadian Housing, Federal Housing Agency, um, also known as the Canadian Mortgage and Housing Corporation, CMHC. And they basically come, come in and, and, and play a, a role in the real estate market. If you don't put 20% down when you purchase a home, say the home is $100,000, <laughs> that'd be nice, um, and you don't have $20,000 to put down or 20%, you put $18,000 down or $10,000 down, you're gonna pay a CMHC premium. They're basically an insurance uh company policy for uh, you to take out in case you default. Uh, They play a role in um, helping the banks uh, overcome deficiencies, uh, delinquencies, sorry, if you don't if you don't pay your mortgage. Uh, And so you pay into this premium and the banks get an insurance that because you haven't put 20% down, they're gonna have uh, they're gonna have some help in case you uh, you, you mess up. So uh, the Can- Canada's federal housing agency said it is well capitalized and able to weather severe but unlikely scenarios, including a global trade war and repeated cyber attacks on Canadian financial institutions. The CMHC, Canadian Housing Mortgage Corporation, responsible for ensuring the bulk of Canadian issued mortgages uh, by banks and other major lenders uses annual stress tests to gauge its resilience to extreme scenarios. So they began doing these uh, tests a while back. They started issuing the results of these tests back in 2015. The 2018 stress tests confirmed that CMHC's mortgage loan insurance and um, securitization business had enough capital to withstand the impact of scenarios which also included a household debt crisis and the eruption of a volcano. <laughs> don't don't ask. In all cases, this year's stress tests show we are well capitalized to handle these very severe situations. Uh, Chief Risk Officer Steve Manil said in a statement, Manil told reporters, this is back in October, on a conference call that the tests showed the CMHC was in a better position to withstand extreme scenarios than it was a year ago. I'm not sure if because if that's because there are more people buying homes with less than 20% down, so they're getting more premiums, so they have better funding, uh, or not that many people have defaulted, so they haven't had to put out money, or a combination of, of the two. I'm not sure. But it's a very interesting article, and it, and it shows that they're trying to be better prepared in case an economic situation happens. Heaven forbid, and we don't want an economic situation where mortgages are being defaulted on to happen. So, um, but nevertheless, they are preparing for the worst. 
Have you bought a wedding dress lately? I know I haven't. But if you're getting married and you're a female looking to buy a dress, or if you're looking to buy a dress in, in general, David's Bridal, which a lot of, I think, women know, and I think that they were on um, a TLC show, something, say yes to the dress. Don't ask me why I know that. I don't even think I get TLC. Anyways, David's Bridal has filed for bankruptcy. They have over 300 stores in North America. Now, this is another big box retailer that is basically lived beyond its means, had access to a lot of credit, and went above and beyond and used all that credit, and then went, oh no, we actually have to pay that back? So they filed for bankruptcy. The, the, bank, the company is assuring brides that their dresses are gonna be safe. The largest wedding retailer in the US announced on Monday that it had filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy. A form of protection that allows the company to restructure without interrupting their day-to-day -day operations. Major Kapler from the Huffington Post.ca, I apologize if I butchered your name, wrote that in a statement on the company's website, CEO Scott Key said there will be, in quotations, no change in the way we operate stores. Our 300 stores will continue operating and all orders and alterations will be delivered as promised, Key says. We are and will continue to be open for business. I've been talking about this now for a long time, long before the podcast started, about the, the shift in retail, the shift in how consumers buy, and how retailers need to step their game up in order to stay competitive. Wedding dresses are a huge deal for uh, every bride, uh, for every, every woman wanting to wear that special dress on their, probably one of their most important days of their life. Women, and I'm not speaking for women, I'm, I'm making assumptions, women love to see and to try on clothing, right? If you're a guy, had a wife, a girlfriend, and you've gone to the mall, and you've gone shopping with your significant other, you will know that they love to try things on. They love to, you know, compare 500 pieces of clothing and ultimately walk out with none. Productive, but, and I digress, ladies, I'm joking, but um, so it, it, in terms of the retail, big box, wedding dress uh, stores, I don't think they're gonna go anywhere, but, but I can't stress enough, and I'm not a commercial real estate expert, I'm not a retail giant expert, but it's very clear, you can't live above your means when it comes to the big box retail space because you will get crushed. David's Bridal is opening a new Canadian store in Vaughan in December. There are 11 locations already across Canada, including stores in the GTA, Ottawa, Halifax, Winnipeg, and Calgary. The company told Bloomberg News that their financial outlook is strong. We are gonna file for bankruptcy, but we look good. And that they have ample liquidity to meet their key business objectives today and in the future. But last month, when several business news outlets suggested that bankruptcy might be in David's Brado future after they missed the payment, the, Comalair, the comp company similarly downplayed the situation, as they would. In both Canada and the US, marriage rates are declining. So here's some stats. And among people who do get married, many opt for less expensive dresses, often from online retailers like Reformation or Mod Cloth. 2017, excuse me, a survey by online real uh, retailer list, L-Y-S-T, found that the average cost of a wedding dress had actually decreased from the previous year. Last July, one of David Bribel's main competitors, the wedding dress retailer, Alfred Angelo, closed and filed for bankruptcy, which, I, like, the problem is, and I'm not in the space, I'm not in the wedding space, but, and, and maybe the ladies that listen to this know who these people are like i know who david bridal is because i mean they've, they've had major publication but listen if you are a retailer if you are in business in general 
People need to know who the heck you are. Consumers, if you're buying, you want to know who you're buying from, who you're working with, who you're dealing with. Alfred Angelo, no clue, filed for bankruptcy, which CBS says left hundreds of brides dressless, including many who had already paid at the time. David's bridal offered a 30% discount on wedding dresses to brides who presented Alfred Angelo receipts and the brides across North America lent their dresses to other people in need. So it's good to see people coming to the aid of people who are in need. But retailers, you have you have to step your game up. If you don't step your game up, you're going to have major issues and it's happening. What I'm not necessarily happy about is the fact that companies are able to use Chapter 11 to basically tell their creditors, see you later, we ain't paying you. They're gonna try and reduce their uh, debt load, I think it was from 700 plus million dollars and eliminate about $400 million of debt through pennies on the dollar repayment. I don't like that, that's just not cool, but that's me, what are you gonna do? And who likes Netflix? I mean, there are some cool shows I'm watching. Um, Designated Survivor right now when I have some time, usually at nighttime trying to turn my mind off like everybody else tries to do. That's a really cool show on Netflix. I actually binge watched uh, probably uh, every night for about three weeks, eight o'clock till like 11. Um, and I'm... I don't know if I'm embarrassed to admit this or not, but I ended up binge watching Mad Men. I don't know if anybody has watched it or watched it when it was on TV, but I fell in love with that show and I thought it was extremely cool. And um, really a kind of a, a, a glance back at how things used to be and I'm glad things aren't like that anymore, but it was a really neat show. So if you like Netflix or any other TV shows that or any YouTube or anything else you stream. Freedom Mobile here in Canada. I don't know if Freedom Mobile is in the US. I don't think they are. Um, they've launched a new promotion that takes a novel approach of dealing with data overages, which can be very expensive. And usually most people go beyond their plan. Why? Because we are addicted to our smartphones. The wireless arm of Shaw Communications, Inc., is offering 100 gigs, 100 gigabytes of extra data to, a new, to new and existing customers, provided they sign up for a two-year plan with a new headset for $60 per month. Not sure how that affects existing customers if you already have a phone. I don't know if you're going to want to buy a new phone. The offer will be available for a limited time in provinces served by Freedom, but the company hasn't disclosed when it's going to end. Freedom last year, uh, I believe it was around this time, uh, October of 2017, um, challenged Bell, Rogers, and Telus with a $50 10 gigabyte plan. Actually, I wasn't due for an upgrade until I think it was November of last year. And, or no, I don't know. And I was looking into it. The problem with Freedom that I found, and this isn't a knock on the company, I haven't been with them, so don't take my word for it. It's just what I was reading online and looking on their website. They're, they're, uh, coverage for data was extremely limited, especially in Ontario, which I didn't really understand. But they don't. Okay, I'm not. I don't want to. I don't want to. I'm not. I don't know what they own and what they don't own. But it seemed like they didn't own any cell towers, so they were piggybacking off of the other cell phone company towers. But and some of you tech people will have to tell me. I think like Bell, if they're renting Bell's tower, they're not actually getting the full you know service that a Bell customer or a Rogers or Telus customer would get off their own towers. So I was a little bit leery of that. And then after talking to and reading some reviews online, um, it, it seemed like that the, the coverage was horrible, especially if you're like, you know, north of the GTA and not in a popular area, um, even north of like, you know, Dundas in Oakville or Burlington. Uh, and not, you don't really get good cell coverage with the major companies. Anyways, the big binge bonus. <laughs> it 
It's an awesome name. That promotion is Freedom's latest tactic to distinguish itself from Canada's national wireless carriers owned by Rogers, Bell, and TELUS. The three carriers later launched aggressive discounts in 2017 to combat the 10 gigabyte $50 a month promotion. And I do remember that as well. So I wasn't actually due until this year. That'd be, I missed out on that one, which I was a little bit frustrated by because that was like a pretty good deal. But um, so if you're, if you're in the market for, listen, if you're in the market for a new cell phone, and you live in like the local GTA and you're local and you don't travel anywhere and maybe you're a student or you're a senior and you just want a phone that has lots of data because you're on it all the time. And let me tell you something, you can stream a lot of the shows that you watch to your TV through your phone. So you can actually use the phone's data, like 100 gigs in a month. I think I blow through that probably 125 gigs a month, but that's like, not on my phone that's at home that's like wi-fi everything going through there and i stream a lot of stuff so it's actually a very good deal if you don't travel um and and hope to get reception last but not least don't eat romaine lettuce you're like what listen the public health agency of canada says the outbreak has sickened 15 people in Quebec, three in Ontario, six requiring hospitalization. There's been over 30 people in the U.S. from 11 states that have become sick from eating it, and it carries the risk of a dangerous type of E. coli. Do not eat romaine lettuce. There's American Thanksgiving, uh, I believe it's tomorrow, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe it's this weekend. But uh, So there's going to be a lot of people mowing down on turkey, and part of that meal... I would think would be salad if you're listening and you're eating turkey and salad don't eat that romaine that is all for today thank you so much for listening i love doing these podcasts by the way i'm giving away a 50 dollars gift card to home depot for free you do have to do a couple things follow me ken park and real estate on facebook I'm trying to grow my facebook page because i'm really wanting to use that as the launch for any information that I put out. So any of the podcasts, uh, any articles, anything I do while I'll be on my website, um, I love to communicate on Facebook. Kind of everybody's on there, so it just makes sense. So go like my Facebook page, comment on the video, watch the video of my, my gift card giveaway, comment done, that way I know that you've watched it, you're entered into the draw. If you wanna get entered a second time, share it on your personal Facebook page, that video, and I'm gonna be doing the draw December 1st. The contest is gonna wrap November 30th. Really, that's it. $50 gift card to Home Depot. I've got some other partners that are wanting to throw in for additional giveaways, so look out for those as well. We have the Business to Business Connect happening. We've got a couple of awesome, awesome interviews set up where I dive deep with local business owners in the GTA we review their businesses, we interview them in their locations, we talk all things business right here on the Ken Parkin Podcast. Thanks for listening, guys. Hope you have an amazing Wednesday. Go kill the rest of this week, and we'll be back really soon.